Hi everyone, how are you today? It's Patricia. And today we're gonna talk about being fatigued, frustrated, feeling disgusted, what some of it's all about, what's coming up. And today I have a special guest. Her name is Michelle, Michelle Tremblay. She's the owner of Empower Lives located in the Vancouver area. And Michelle is an expert bully prevention trainer. She works with schools, with the administration, and with the children for helping kids to empower their lives. She's a motivational speaker. She is also someone who is on the journey. And uh, as such, you know, there's a lot more we glean from this in our work. Um, we work with health and wellness mental health. Uh, we both do. And so, hi, Michelle, thank you for joining today. Great to, great to be here. Yeah. So um, first, let's talk a little bit, because we live in two different areas. I'm in Chicago and you're in Vancouver, and yet we're seeing some of the same stuff. Maybe tell me a little bit about some of the things that are popping out at you that people are talking about that they may not know has to do with their journey. Well, I see a lot of people frustrated right now and kind of at their wits end that they've hit this wall. Like I'm so done with my work, my life. I'm having all these things happen to me personally. I've got anxiety and I want to change, but I, I just don't know where to start. Yeah, I'm seeing the same thing, um, sort of um, dissatisfied. Uh, many times people feel a lot of dissatisfaction with their life. If the job is not satisfying also, it's really hard to deliberate on that and decide, should you stay with the job? Don't quit your day job for a while. Um, or should you find something else? And that is a process. And yet in the bigger part of the process is the mental health is staying healthy um, because we are both seeing people with upper respiratory uh, inflammations, infections, um, even the kids with the RSV virus, um, that seems to be affecting kids more. And you and I were talking about it, like what does this area have to do with? Yeah. And the other thing too, is that people are stressed through the coming through the holidays. Now they're not sleeping well. They're stressed about their own finances and a lot of things that they are needing direction and guidance. And it's not easy. It's not easy, yeah. but I do know because we've done lots of work together that there are solutions to what can support people and guide them to a different place. True. So one of the keys that I've found, because I've not only been through the upper respiratory and the mental health um, balancing, you know, how do you stay balanced while you're going through stuff? How do you get yourself back to sleep? How do you get some really deep, refreshing sleep that helps you alleviate some of the uh, lower emotions like feeling frustrated, you know, how do you wake yourself up and feel like this is a fresh day, you're motivated, you're self-motivated, because it's coming from the inside out. That is actually one of the keys when people are getting sick here, um, that has a lot to do with their emotional body, that has a lot to do with where we hold some of our emotions and also where we hold some of our fears and concerns. Mm -hmm. And I feel that the, that fatigue is just like run rampant through what's happening with people also struggling with this 3am wake up call and going, why am I awake again? Why am I awake again? And I know from my own personal experience, it's frustrating, but when you have some kind of tools to be able to go, okay, yeah, I need to get up and walk, or I'm going to do something like use my oils. Those are the things that we would talk about in um, the things that we're going to do together here. But it's something that we have to recognize that, you know, we don't have to live like this anymore in this struggle. Yeah. 
not only don't we have to live going forward into 2023, people really can't live like that anymore because it's no longer supported, L meaning there's no foundation for it. The foundation is moving. There's a new level. There's an ascended level. Um, people need to do whatever they call it, ascend, up level, um, reboot, um, upgrade. You know, there's all these terms people use for essentially the same thing. But you hit the nail on the head of something when you said the oils. We're talking about proper use of essential oils on some key spot that actually do the heavy lifting for you. And I've done this for years. I teach it. Um, you've tried it. You've had some success with it. It's huge success. It's it's my go-to. And I know that I've had people come into my life that have had the same kind of feelings of things going on and not understanding. And it just takes you to that next space where you feel like, oh, I feel like I can breathe right now. Yeah. Breath it's is not, important. And not so intense. Breathe. Yes. Yeah. Breathing. Yes. Like, this is how sometimes we feel. Yeah. It's been kind of crazy. You know, you work with a lot of kids and today I was listening to the 80s or one of the radio station is playing a lot of 80s music. And I was thinking just how different some of the generations, like what they've had to go through and what they've seen and, you know, what are they able to consider fun? But we're in a time now where there's so much turmoil and the, the media is reporting chaos all the time especially if we look at it, it, can keep you in a fear mode. You can stay in fear and be confused and wonder what's really happening. You know, are, are you seeing a lot of that? Yes. And I believe like my work is so relevant and so important right now because a lot of it is about regulation and about self-regulation and teaching children how to connect to their emotional body to understand what can I do instead of getting angry yelling, yeah. screaming, punching, kicking, pushing, which is not going to be effective. Picking but I, I don't, yes. And I don't know what to do with this. So yeah. the, the ripple effect has been quite beautiful to teach children even how to meditate or breathe. And then the parents will join them. And as you see that ripple effect, you start to realize that, okay, now I'm calm. I can make better decisions. I can talk to my child differently. And you feel like, okay, I've made some headway for myself. Yeah. Well, and you know, I've many times had this thought, get to the kids, they'll get to the parents, but sometimes parents are stubborn and they're a little set in their ways. You work a little bit more with kids. I work with the most exclusively adults. And uh, I love working with kids. I have a child and I've had to, you know, help him, um, you know, reg do what you call regulate, but explain a little more about what is self-regulation. It's not just the emotions, but it's, it's a little more, right? Yeah. It, and it's managing your emotional body, the negative emotions and being able to move the body. And this is the key. So my background is in martial arts and I also teach yoga and Qigong and movement is key for us to be able to move out of that state. But I'm going to say this, martial arts is not about fighting and it's not about hurting people. It's about my tradition in martial arts was about being a good person, respectful, kind, helping others and being able to teach that. So kids love this because it's fun and it's playful, but it's also teaching them how to bring them their state from here to here and be able to realize that maybe if they are being bullied, that once they change that and they have more confidence, they're not even going to be attracting that kind of energy around them. And they're going to be able to stand up and speak up. It's going to take practice, but they're going to feel different about themselves. True. Now, some of the groups that I've taught, I teach the people um, uh, what's well, an exercise and I call it get the attackers off. And it's great for alleviating anxiety. It's great for expanding the emotional body because to take what you're saying 
a step further and the kids may not realize this and people may not realize this, but as you're filling with good emotions, you expand and you're expanding your heart space and your heart chakra, but you're also deflecting the chances of being bullied or attacked or needing to defend yourself start diminishing because you start upgrading to that next level where the occurrences sort of go down. Now, what I find this helps people do is focus more on who they really are, where they want to go in their life and their reinvention of themselves. So, you know, we're going to touch a little bit on financial concerns. We're seeing a lot here in the United States about layoffs. Large tech is laying off. I've already been through, look, the automotive industry layoffs because I was I was working for a car dealer and they let people go. And, you know, they let a lot of men go. People needed to really reconfigure and reinvent. Only one company got a government bailout. Um, the other thing, real estate, real estate going and dropping. And that was another uh, bubble. There was a um, white collar recession here in the United States where people who we had factory type jobs, you know, blue collar manufacturing, they were laid off. And you have people that are, you know, in offices, I'm sorry, they had worked, the others were getting laid off, right? And we've had these economies where they go up and down. This is like expansion and contraction. It's naturally going to happen at some point where people pull back. They start tightening their, you know, family mm-hmm. finances. Unfortunately, large companies don't run their company like a family. The people at the top, the alphas, they're the ones that want to, you know, make sure that they're getting their bonus or something. So what I have found the key is, is getting yourself out of fear mode through the body, refocusing so you can reinvent. And you've had to do some reinvention. I've had to reinvent about five times. Each time I had success at what I was doing. And it is through allowing in the good energy and the you know expansion of the heart chakra that it happens. So you and I are kind of on the same page about this. Most definitely. Like when and I feel in, in Canada. I do. I see it. I mean, it's definitely hit people hard. Um, inflation and you feel the recession and it's it's Christmas time coming up for a lot of people and there's a lot of stress and worry about, you know, buying and not buying and what's going to happen. And I know that we're going through, I feel a big change again for ourselves personally. And as you said it, Patricia, is that this is giving us an opportunity to really um, get some of the things out of the way for us to move forward differently. And I went through a pandemic where I was out of the schools for a year and a half, which was a huge source of my income. And I had to reinvent. I had to think about where I was going to plant myself. But in my heart, I knew this work was something I'd continue to do, but I was different. And why I was different, because I was taking some of your courses and I was doing the things that were really in front of my face to really look at, that I was going, okay, this is over there, but you know what? I need to do this now. I need to take a look at this issue and the things that um, are just not working. Yeah. So um, you and I are going to collaborate in a class coming up um, that we're going to run for six weeks. Now we're going to touch on these subjects, your health, your sleep, reinventing, getting the attackers off, getting the parts of you that might feel fearful, anxious, nervous, disgusted, frustrated, fatigued. You're tired of it all. You're tired of this. We're going to make it easy for you to bridge up and upgrade and get yourself up and running where you have a plan because you're part of the plan. We're part of the plan. We're here to teach. We've been shoved through this ahead of time. We've been (laughs) shoved through it so many times. 
We could be disgusted, but we were laughing about it. Yeah. And, you know, we're here. We're, you're not just surviving, you're thriving, right? You're teaching kids how to thrive. I'm teaching adults how to thrive. How do you reinvent when something feels like it has gut kicked you? Do you let yourself get demoralized? Do you get sick over it? I've literally, we had um, friends of the family where they lost their business and the husband was so sick about it and internalized it. He developed a, a sort of a blood illness. It was almost like his, it, it was like an autoimmune thing. I mean, we don't need your body to turn against you. Your body is your vehicle. It is your vessel. It's the thing that you have for health, well-being, for fun, for joy. And um, you told me about the kids when they're done. They follow you like the Pied Piper. And yeah, they're they're like ready and they are they're finding safety. Yes. It's and they're space. And they're here to thrive too. They're here to become their potential of who they're, you know, coming to uh, step into, but they also need, they also need from parents. What I hear from the parents is that I wish I was in your program because I need this. And the program. We're and I'm, I hear it. And I believe that, you know, my, um, my journey too has been about discovering the role in helping that and guiding it. And it's never stopped in my life. I, I'm so passionate about helping people. And I know that it's time for that kind of push for all of us to move forward in it. Because from my own experiences and the walls that I've hit, I would have not gotten to where I am today without your guidance and support, without the tools and so. the things. And it's, I mean, it's hard when you feel like you're doing this yeah. and you're the same old safe in your tail and, and you're sick of your, you're sick of yourself. Yeah. It's like, is this all there is? Why no. am I here? But let that deja vu be the wheel that you get off of where you're saying to yourself, you know, why am I repeating this? Am I repeating history? Please let's, you know, cut that. Michelle and I are bringing our best. You're bringing your best. We're bringing some of our best stuff to the six-week class. We have a Black Friday special. And yes, I'm going to talk about it because this is what we do. We do expect that, you know, this has value for you. Please check it out. Um, we're going to be here all week talking about these topics, but it's in the class that we're going to get deep. And you are going to find out how easy it is to get upgraded. And I say that term loosely because it is so much more. How would you like to have, instead of feeling you have departments of your life, have it be cohesive where you feel that there is a light, there is a plan, there is joy to be had. And not only that, Michelle, I think you'll agree. We have a lot of fun. We talk about <laughs> dream interpretation. We laugh. You can listen and, you know, participate silently. We do a question and answer, and we are going to hammer it, bringing you into the next year. So all those things you think like, well, I'm getting to the end of my year now. And, you know, you start the new year up with great intentions. We're starting it now. Get the good intentions going now. And come and get the support that you need. You don't yeah. have to do this by yourself and yeah. you need to have that lift because it will take you out of that dark place. Yes. Please feel like we're getting the attackers off. If you have yeah. deep traumas, I do help people with that, but join the class. Um, we're going to move it along um, at least three times a week, taking off time on the holiday and cruising right into the new year. So check it out. The description is below. Michelle's information is there. If you have family concerns, if you have children that, you know, they may need a hand with this. She does one-on-one -on -one sessions. She does um, also, you know, things to do with the family if your child is being bullied. I had a child that was bullied. This is, this is her 
this is her golden diamond. This is what she does is we all have to stop picking on each other and sniping at each other. You know, it, it's like living in a gerbil cage. <laughs> we don't have to be like this. We are higher consciousness beings. Mm -hmm. Get some help for your child. You will be glad that you did because children are the future. Okay. They're the gold that we're polishing now to like set them for not just solutions, but to bring the harmony back. Yeah. And I'm very passionate about seeing results with them and what is going to work in corp in cooperation with the parents too, as well. And I know that just recently I had a parent send me a testimonial about their son who was emotionally fragile. And by the end of the program, she said he could control his emotions and he felt strong. And as a parent, that's a huge win. Yeah. And something that I take very seriously and how I can support that and how I can help. And build on it too. Yeah. Because, you know, we're not just, we're building balanced people. We're building a balance of emotion, not just holding yourself in rigid emotion. Yes. Look, you need to feel your feelings are part of your senses, but we don't need our feelings invalidated and we need to be heard. You know, things are happening and it starts at home. So we hope you'll join. If you have questions, Michelle's email is down below and so is mine. Please reach out. We will love to hear from you. We'll even more love to see you there. We're meeting on Zoom. It's online and um, have a good day. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Michelle, you. for joining. Thank you, Patricia. Okay. Look forward to seeing people there. Yeah. And watch our videos because we have some more stuff to talk about. Boy, can we talk, right? <laughs> Okay. Have a good day. Bye now. Bye.